This morning, I'm going to go see my man, Ronaldo Hola, young horse, horse, uh, race horse trainer. Uh, he's doing his thing. Um, you know, he, he's building some momentum right now, and um, I'm, I'm wishing him all the best. Uh, I see he's, he's, he's floored with energy right now, as usual, and um, we'll see what he got. Good morning, sir. Oh, this is my money, that's there? My own. Oh, this is yours? Yeah, this one is my money. Were you just walking right? Oh, you just changed the stalls? Right okay. Uh, what? I, just the, uh, I just left from there. What's this one? Stalls. What's this one there? Copensate. Oh, Copensate. You want to rent third, right? Yeah, rent third, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And then we'll come back with him in about another three weeks or so. Oh. I ran a nice third, too. Yeah, you did. I really don't think, I don't believe that that's his distance. He's a more seven for long, seven minus his teeth bars. Right. But the daughter started somewhere, and my thing was more confidence than anything else after the races he had last year. Stop it. And he kind of had rough races at the end last year, so my whole thing was just to put him in a race to build back his confidence. Right. Get him in the cheapest price, a nice field. And he did that. He, you know, he. We're only around third, we got mm -hmm. this is the winner from last year at a lake court. Good work. Come true, brother. That'll be a gen. Yeah. You got me just all over here. Oh. The same all the time. All over here. How you doing, sir? Oh. Easy. Just put him in there, let him relax. You eat some feed, you want some beer. Always busy, eh? Always busy, don't stop. Keep him busy, man. No, I got 20, uh, just about 20, it's even more. Wow. We got three here, two more to come in. Good. You know this young fella. Tight holder, son. Oh, this his face look familiar. Yeah. Again, more visions. Everything here owned by visions. No. These three here, these are my three. And then we go back to this part. Is it planned that way or just happened? Those three? I had those three horses from last year. Oh, okay. Copenhagen, Adelaide Court, and Summer Right Fighter. Right. Did you have something? Uh -huh. The current winning groom. Yes, Lance. sir. How you doing, Lance? Lance good thanks. Got Mr. Happy Feet, Sean. Why you two seconds with this youngster so far. Why are you happy feet? <laughs> huh? Very happy feet. When he starts to dance, it's the winner's circle we go into. When you see those dancers, 
<laughs> Sean. Yeah. Oh, which Sean is this, anyways? He's Jamaican Sean. This is my my. Hang on a second. Yeah, same one. Same one. <laughs> this is my brethren, Sean. Right. Yes. From Barbados days. From Barbados days, and I know your brothers and them. Yes, <laughs> Respect. Look, your phone said it. I know you. What do you remember? Yeah, I was trying to remember yeah. it, but the mask, right? <laughs> So how many people they take to run this operation? Well, currently we have usually spin up a barn, let's say every groom will get four or five horses. So we have Nemo, which is a, the head guy of the barn, the assistant. He has four. Mm -hmm. The lady has one. Lance has three. Wayne has four and Sean has four. So we have three grooms, a swing groom, and two more walkers. Nice. For a pretty smooth running barn. And we have our two riders. Who's the two riders? Um, Corey Jordan, the one that just went for me on Sunday, Sat Sat Thursday, sorry. And Miguel, Miguel Nichols, which is Kevin Nichols. Kevin. Has he rode here before? No, he's actually oh. about to ride his, he's about to start his one horse career, and he's yeah. riding his first race on Wednesday. Mm. Yes, yeah, sir. How are you doing? Oh, he's on the phone. Giant sunrise. That was my first original starter for the year. This one? But he did not start. He flipped to the gate. And then I came back with a second. With two seconds on the third. So we got that whole line. Okay. You got the fan going, man. Well, it's getting that kind of time. The summer's keeping up, so in about another week, you'll pass in the whole bar. We'll just have fans in them. Some people are hanging up in the roof so that you go in. Most of them still on the ground. Is this part of your operation here, too? Yes, sir. Well, no, I get to also be friends with. Oh. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, you know, I got I'm friends. Good, man. I'm good. Stable hey, bearded. Good to Ronnie see you, Barrows, bro. Barrows, another fellow bearded trainer, successful man. Yeah. And a man that I can always go to ask him for anything. Any advice, anything, I can always ask Big Brother. I was watching him last year and see that steadily the progression of, of his horses. It goes, you know, all the hard work shows. We from Barbados and the Caribbean, I'm not going to just say Barbados. We from the Caribbean are hands-on horsemen. We've been doing this from here to here. So it doesn't stop, it's in the blood. So when we come to work, it's not we come in to do a job. We're coming to do our livelihood, our career. So you get 120% every time, no matter where you go. It could be a $5,000 horse, it could be a million dollar horse. You can get us hands on and keep things going. That's why men like Rodney become so successful and I'm very proud to follow in his footsteps. I'm gonna come back to you a little bit later. I'm so, yeah. He's supposed to be going last three, but this one just ran about clear, so <laughs> this concludes. He's missing, he's gone, yes, where he's is gone. he? <laughs> he got clear, and this one was supposed to run to me, but he 
Scratch. That much we might get eighteen. So Ronaldo, you are a busy man right now. This, yeah. This <laughs> yeah, wasn't expected. No, it was not. I actually, as I said to you the other morning, get me from the fire. I um, I was planning on being semi-retired out. My my love and passion for horses more than anything else is riding. And after a couple of years of head injuries and ongoing concussions, I decided to pack it up last year. And I was only leaning on having purpose here. Because my partner refused to let me get rid of him, but he came in, he was all, all cylinders were going, everything was looking good, and two weeks ago I had the owners and partners from this bar come and ask me to take over for a while, while their train is in suspension, and I saw it as a good opportunity, you know what I mean? Opportunities don't always come around where you can come from having two horses to 20 horses, and the greatest thing about it that can make it easier for me is... I have one player, so all these horses are owned by one person. So it's not so much a headache of trying to fill in a barn and having to learn everything individually because it's all under one subheading. So to find out anything, you just go to the owner and everything is right there. It's all one person to deal with. So it's unexpected, but it's heavily appreciated. Table, 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 no, the question is, is um, having those acquired those those other horses, is it actually putting you on a on a, on a let me see a, a higher level in terms of uh, people are seeing you more often now, seeing you kind of in the in the winner's circle. You just got uh, one the other day. Yeah, for this year so far, it's going to this year has started pretty good. Um, my equity has shown me twenty percent win mm -hmm. trainer, eighty percent top three. Um, this one of our hot walkers also. So. Sir. You know, it, it, one of the guys that helped me at the whole barn, a team process. Definitely you know, needs so a whole, a whole having, entire stable. This business is all about quality and numbers. Having a lot of numbers, which having lots of horses and decent horses, it can bring you up. It can also bring you down. Because if the results aren't what they're supposed to be, your stats go down. But so far, with this barn and my own, we've had six official starters. We're up to two seconds, both for 100,000. We've got two thirds as of yesterday, and a fourth and a win. So, again, the opportunity is there. The horses are decent horses. The staff is amazing. It's just one of those things you got to take your time and roll with the punches. You can't try to rush anything, you can't try to make no big drastic changes. You just got to take your time and appreciate what you have in front of you. and. See how far it goes from here. But if you if you if you got like two horses and they do really well for you, doesn't that put you in a different bracket too? Say you, you get a say for instance you get a allowance horse, you get a six horse, and they win. It does. It will put you in a different bracket because people always watch it, no matter what you do. You know, you could be the smallest guy here, they'll watch. They'll be able to come and tell you, man, I saw you your horse ran good for this horse, or they'll be able to tell you, I saw your horse work last week. Because people always watch it, no matter who you are. We could be Ronaldo Hood, you could be Mark Cassie, Marty Dexter. People always watch you. And having horse, having decent horses that acquires good stats, it can take you to other levels. Because again, as I said, right now I'm training for Joey G. People might see me training for Joey G. And I, I might pick up another client along the way. You know, another guy might say, hey. I like what this kid is doing. He seems to be working hard. He seems to know what he's doing. Let's give him a shot. And your empire can grow from there. It can grow or it can, it can stop where it is. But it all, it's all depends on people. Now, I'm sure a big part of this is also managing staff and managing horses. So how important is that for, for, for the owners to know exactly that you can do that well, really easily? It's not hard. It's very important. For me, my biggest thing is I do not believe in micromanaging. I do not believe that you should have grown people that you pay to do a job and pick at everything that they need to do. So for me, I again, this, the team that's here, I've worked with them all along the line before here, and they're all well experienced men that know what they're doing. So it's not a case of me coming in and saying, okay, I need you to do this and I need you to do this. It's more of allowing these guys to do what they know and me giving my input or okay I might need something done differently but for the most part having a team 
of experienced and knowledgeable horse people, not just a team of workers, it makes your job very easy. It makes your job very, very easy. When a, you know, if a horse goes in the stall and I'm feeding one and my groom goes in a check the horse, he can come and say, hey, boss, I found a nick on the horse or I don't like the way this looks because of experience and observation. So I have a pretty hands-on team, a pretty, again, I've said it at least four times a day. <laughs> I have a really good team, a really well, a really good put together team. Try to get you know early money and get a horse build its confidence, but someone seems to like that one more than they did. So, but I, I guess with a bit with a big uh, barn too, you can afford to let one go. Oh uh, yeah, you know because the boss has a lot of horses. He raises a lot of horses, buys a lot of horses. So and as most people would always tell you in this business, it costs the same to keep an allowance horse that it, that it costs to keep a cheap horse. So. If you can see, we're about to put out fees now, and these horses are all going to get fed. It's mm -hmm. not to say that one is going to run for 7500 I'm going to give him one scoop, and the one that's running for a loss, I'm going to give him five. They all got to get fed properly and well maintained, so that when they go for a side, they can give their all. You know, a hungry man can't fight no, with nobody. There's, if there's nothing in the tank, you're done. So <laughs> it's all part of the business. You can't go over there hungry and decide, I'm going to run a mile. You're going to run two for loss, you're going to stop, because... Your belly's gonna touch your back. You gotta be empty, right? And it's the same thing with the athletes. You gotta put something in that belly. You gotta put something in the belly, cause for us, we, we can choose what we want. We know what we need for our bodies. For them, they can't tell us. So this is our job. Tell me about that win that you had just the other day, man. How how that how that felt? I would be I would be very honest with you. It was pleasing, and why it was pleasing is because not only is it my first win for the year. Not only is it my first win for the new outfit, but Corey Jordan is the only course that gave me a winner last year. <laughs> I remember. I had one winner last year, and it was Corey Jordan. <laughs> so it was very pleasing to know that right in the beginning of the year, we started again. Last year when he win, his girlfriend was pregnant. This year he wins, and he had the baby in the hand. <laughs> So <laughs> that that was pleasing and again, it was a major combination other than the owners, but it's always good to know you can share life experiences again, not only with a fellow Bajan, but a fellow Caribbean person, you know, not being segregated or nothing, but a fellow black man. Yeah. It's nice to see where we can come together and make things happen like everybody else and people see that these guys have it. You know? These guys just need a little opportunity. We don't need the whole biggest opportunity. It's a little bit of opportunity, and we can box with everybody else. Anybody else, just as good on the team. Just with that one little opportunity. You guys are hard working people, man. Corey, Corey, I'm real proud of him. Again, I'm proud of the whole team. No, I never met Corey. He was supposed to be here, but he left early. He had to leave early. I gotta meet him one day. He's an awesome guy. Amazing guy. Next time you come, I'm gonna try to make sure he's here. Or we could also get him on the talk show at any point. I notice he doesn't get a lot of mouths. No, he doesn't. But the ones that he do get, he tries his hardest, hardest to make them work. And again, that's like this place, the racing industry is stacks. So someone might see Corey ride five horses last year and get a one win. The others weren't too good. So they're going to be a little more iffy to use him get him win another two races and then you might get another person, pick him up and throw him a bone here and throw him a bone there. But what I love about him, he does not let the downfalls bring him down. He doesn't come to work and say, oh, well, like, I win one race, nobody gives me another ride, I'm done. He comes to work, he does his work every day, you know, he does what needs to be done and he keeps his head down. Not down in shame, but he keeps his head down, he's humble and he just keeps doing what he has to do. Keeps striving. Where am She ran. She ran fourth. She ran on Sunday. So she ran fourth on Sunday before the winner. Hmm. You have any two-year-olds? 
Yeah, we have to. Yeah, sorry. We just walked past a bunch of them. Two yo. Serenaded. Now this is hers. This is the one that she takes care of. Mm -hmm. Um got another two year old girl. And another one. I think we've got about five or six two girls on the ground. Right. Confirmed. Five two girls on the ground. These are the first three here. Um the other two they're right? Where is here? Okay, so the little chest that was around right before the empty stall, mm -hmm. she's a two-year-old. She's actually a serenaded hall training partner. Oh, let's see. Make life easy. The runners come in in the morning, and everybody has what they need to be done right here. This training scar, where to go. Well, it, it, it's all about organization and having people being on board. So what, what's, your lo <laughs> what's your days like now, man? Oh, my days now are, are more hectic than before. <laughs> um, I'm here most days and try to be here by 5 o'clock. Because you're a, a high energy kind of person. Yeah, yeah, because I'm also in the mix of hosting a couple of events. <laughs> so my days are busy. The horses take a lot of time, but I love it. And I when do you have time to actually get some rest, man? When I buy my ice cream. <laughs> some days I'll be home. <laughs> I don't watch your replays or I get scheduled for events and I just nod off and I catch myself at 2 o'clock in the morning. But I have to go again. But it, it's not burning me out. You know, it's not burning me out. I love the horses. I'm, again, you met me doing events, so that's making things so much more hype. You know, it, it keeps me on my toes. It just keeps me on my toes. All the time. You're still very young, so I'm sure that's where all the energy is coming yeah. from. Yeah. I'm young, I'm young in age, the body ain't feeling so young now, but <laughs> after years of being damaged and all kind of injury, but at the end of the day, this is something that we all do for the passion first, because I can bet if most people are just doing this for the money, a lot of us would have quit. Sean, yeah. why do you do this? <laughs> why do you do this, Sean? For the money or for the love? No, love racing. Love racing. Yeah, love the horses, man. Hey, shout out Sean, shout out Prophet, shout yeah. out Ricky. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, ready to just be um, dinner. So we can set the dinner for tonight. Mm -hmm. Leave them here. At least she comes back when she pees on the evening. Track is that? Uh, Pula Park, Pula Park. Oh, okay. Pula Park. I have a two on the other side. And this one here, 2029, 20, running tomorrow. 28, 12, 28. This one is running tomorrow. This one runs tomorrow. Rookie's court, last race tomorrow. Rookie court? Yeah, it runs tomorrow, last race. Hmm. Last race. What kind, what type of race is that? Claim race. Claim race? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Training good? Training good, yep. Training good, very good. You gonna make Papa proud? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> this one here is Sean Bigworth. He's nominated for the Queen's Plate. Oh, three-year-old. Yeah, three-year-old. I'm nominated for the Queen's Plate. 
much. Oh, wow. We got a second and third this year. Second and third. But that's big. Yeah, big, yeah, big, yeah. How do you guys feel about that? I'm, I'm all right with that. You saw what happened to Kentucky Derby last week, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so. Anything can happen. Exactly. You just got to get there. You just got to get there. And this Philly here, she's not her for the, um, yeah, Canadian Oaks. Right here, this one here. Now I'm going to bring Canadian Oaks. For three little Phillies. Sacred nine. Dancer. Yeah. So you guys got some big things going, man. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And Dwayne Boy has one at Queen's Place, and I got a Queen's Place horse to go up to. Oh, okay. Which one is is uh for you that's nominated for the Queen's Play? Okay. I'm definitely gonna keep my eyes open now. <laughs> definitely. Lance is sharp. That's right. Sorry, Sean. And Wayne's Queen's Play horse is final up Horse, Let's have a look at this Queen's Play horse. Yeah, Queen's Play horse. And I'm just relaxing, eating some straw right now. Mm. Primordial fear. Yeah. Oh, just tell the viewers again what, what your name is. What, who, who am I talking to? You know, me? Yeah. Oh, man, man. So they all know. Yeah, no, no, right. My brother. What's up, brother? Right. You around here? This one here, not for Queen's Plate. This is for real. Not for Queen's Plate. Not for Queen's Plate. Philly. Do you have favorites? It's a real right now, right now. <laughs> the one I have, I think last year they sold him. He's in America right now. Mm. And it was a passion. Wow. And, uh, I have this for one that won last week. She's in a the passion, they're a half brother. Half brother sister. And she won, she got the thing. We're better right down the stage, he's doing good down there. Can I ask you how long you've been a groom for? Over, over 20 other years. And you love it. I love it, yeah. I keep saying, I get the feeling that the people who who get involved in this business, it's just a love, you know, and it's just a love, man. You, you, do you find yourself uh, working, doing something else? I don't think so, I don't think so. <laughs> stay here, stay here, you know? Someone told me last week uh, that once you get involved in this, it's almost like addictive. You can't, you can't stop. You can't stop, no. You take it like a year off or two years off, you get more, you want to come back to racing, you know? All right, I'm going to let you go because it looks like you're pretty busy. <laughs> but I'll probably catch up with you later. Okay, all right then. Thank you, Lance. Okay. Okay. All right, you too. I think I see Ronnie Barrow somewhere down here. Yes, sir. Yes, yes my brother. Everything good? Everything is good.